Wham bam, thank you ma'am. Hey, what's up, Dead Stars? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. And if you are, my name is Ashley, and today I'm going to talk about why I just, I, I don't like partying anymore. I don't like going to the bar. Why I don't like going to the clubs, you know? Like, it's just not my scene anymore. I mean, I guess it never really was my scene, but I mean, now in my life, it definitely, 100% is not my scene. So if this is something that you want to hear about, go ahead and stay tuned. Give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you enjoy me and what I'm doing here on YouTube. And let's get started. So I'm more of a homebody. I really enjoy being at home. I really enjoy being around people that I can interact with. I really enjoy just doing the minimal that I can do to be entertained. But that's just me. But honestly, hanging out at home with my good friends, my boyfriends, my cats, you know, having a good meal at home, doing something that's cheap and expensive and still fun is way better than, in my opinion, than going out to a bar, temporarily losing my hearing, and possibly getting my leg humped by a random fuckboy. And as I've gotten older, like I'm 24 years old, I just, I've realized that I, I can't do it anymore. I genuinely hate going to clubs. Do you see Ace in the background? She tries in every video. First off, I take forever to get ready to just get hit on by dirt balls. That's not appealing. And that's not even my intent. I'm getting ready to look good for me, not for you. I'm sorry. And not only that, but once I'm ready, I have to decide whether I'm gonna walk in heels and sacrifice my feet for a couple of days. If you're a pro, props to you, but not for me. Or if like we're gonna waste money on a cab that we're gonna already have to pay $4 for before we even get into it. I mean, you can Lyft or Uber or whatever, but I some places don't even have that yet. Like I believe we just got that not too long ago. So once we're downtown, we're at our first destination, you know, the first bar you end up at, and you have to pay cover, not knowing if you actually are going to enjoy your time there. So I mean, right there, you're already out of like two to five dollars. Unless you're early or you have nice tits. But it, it just genuinely bothers me that I'm about to pay money that I sh don't really want to pay for. Like, what is cover? Like, I, I don't get it. Like, I'm, I, you're charging me in case I want to leave. Like, I just, I don't get it. I think that's a rip off. I really do. Like, it's not like, like, what does cover do? Does it, like, is it insurance? Because I lost my health card and nobody helped me with shit and I paid cover. Not only that, but I do get mistaken a lot for younger than I actually am. I get told a lot that when I have like minimal makeup on, like I'm fairly, I'm not short, but I'm like, I'm fairly short um, and I don't have like heels on or anything. I get asked if I'm like between 16 and 18 years old. I am 24. I am legal to drink in Canada and the United States. Actually, funny story, the last time, the absolute last time that I went to a club, I got asked for three pieces of ID because they didn't believe it was me. Like, I don't even know, I wouldn't even know where to go to get a fake ID. Trying to convince someone that I'm 18 years old to get a fake ID, that would be a really good video. So now it's later on in the night, we've been walking for a bit, I'm tired, my feet hurt, I really want McDonald's. And now we arrive at the club that we want to be at. There was one club, Tequila Bob's in Windsor. That was the only club that I could tolerate, the only club I could party at. I really had a genuine good time there. But I mean, once you step into the bar, you lose the ability to hear anybody within a two like inch radius. And next, the absolute worst part, in my opinion, is getting a drink. Honestly, unless you're extremely attractive or you're a regular, the bartender normally ignores you. They want to make sure that they can get business from someone. Like if you're a regular and you have a group of friends and you all know the bartender, you're more than likely to get served than like some rando that's standing there waiting for a drink. They play favorites, I know they do. So once you have your drinks, you're awkwardly stumbling around for a place to get drunk enough to make the club tolerable enough to be at. Usually at that point, it's one more drink and I'm ready to go. So at this point, I've spent over 20 bucks to not really have an enjoyable time. And 
let me just talk about all of the random men that hit on you. Uh, like all of the so unsolicited advances that, you know, come your way. The possibility of people date raping you. Uh, like I understand that there are really good bars to be at and really good clubs, but the majority of the ones that I have been to have had some really sketchy activity. I once saw... I am not even going to... I don't want to go into detail what I saw, but I saw some upskirt activity at a bar one time. Uh, you know, it's, it's just not my scene. When I was younger though, probably from the ages of like 18 to 21, I did have a group of girlfriends that I, I enjoyed going to the clubs with and you know, when you have people to interact with and go and have a good time with, I mean it is a good time, like when you know where you're going and you have a plan, it is. it can be a good time, but if you're just going downtown to go, you know, walk around and waste your money, it's, it's not worth it for me anymore. It's not fun. The minimum of $20 that I could use going downtown, I could use in so many more productive ways that won't make me feel like I want to die the next morning. I did once give a fake number to a guy that ended up being my good friend's friend, so that blew up my spot. And I also did 14 tequila shots in one night before my body decided it did not want to accept alcohol anymore. But since I got sick, you know, my body just can't take it. I, I don't, I don't have the energy for it anymore. So I asked in my group, Small YouTuber Army, what they thought about, you know, their opinions about bars and clubs and whatnot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and share that with you right now. Brittany says because getting drunk in pajamas at home is far superior to getting drunk at the bar and having to wear real pants. And I can 100% agree with that. Evan says some people go to the bar to socialize and have fun while others go to get drunk and be idiots. And that's when accidents happen. And I, you know, I do agree with that one. That that is how bad things happen. When you lose control of what you're doing and you're out in public and you black out, that is how accidents happen. Amy says that she loves karaoke, she lives for karaoke, and that if we are going to the bars where we're not having fun, we're definitely doing it wrong. So you know what? Maybe one of my 2018 goals will be to go to a karaoke bar and try my hand at it and see. I went to a karaoke bar for my 21st birthday and I, you know, I, I had an okay time, but I, I think I need to go with a really good group of friends who want to enjoy it and who want to have fun. Lilith says that it's far cheaper to drink at home. I, you know, once again, agree with that. I can buy a $13 bottle of vodka and make it last a month. Tarrant pretty much says the same thing as Lilith. However, it is mentioned that they don't like crowds and it is too expensive. I don't like crowds either. I really, I have a bubble. Do not invade my bubble. This is by far my favorite comment and I do believe this comes from Blur. It says, cause all people want to hook up. Wham bam, thank you ma'am. Or man. Use ya and abuse ya, then dispose of ya. Don't know from experience, but that's why I stay at home. And I love how to the point that was, thank you. There are a lot of people who go to the bar just to hook up and that's not, I'm not there for that. I have never once met anyone at the bar, looked at them and said, hey, I wanna bring you home tonight. Never in a million years. Melody says because of all of the 40 plus year old men who think it's okay and acceptable to hit on 24 year old women. And as a 24 year old woman, I agree with you completely. Suzanne says she just doesn't feel like she fits in. I'm in the same boat. I, with this like alternative look, I don't feel like I fit in at the bar at all. And finally, Claudia says, it's just another place where men think they can catcall women. And yeah, it truly is. I can't tell you the names that I have been called at the bar, the, you know, what they think are terms of endearment, but make me want to throw up. And that's where I'm going to leave that for today. So thank you guys for all of your opinions for this video. It really helped me out a lot. Thank you for all of your love and support for my channel recently. It means so much to me. Hello to all of my new subscribers and thank you to all of my loyal subscribers for staying with me and always supporting my content. It means the absolute world to me. So I have a DIY, oh, my voice cracked. I have a DIY video coming on Wednesday with Marcel. I hope that you guys stick around for that. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you on Wednesday. Sayonara suckers.